April. This was the summer of 2019. So this shows how long this process can take. And someone who was technically on her side, who is on her side, um, and it, it, not within the family, we were all sitting there talking. And, and my grand, my father was on a conference call. My father happens to be a lawyer, but he was not involved in this case. So we're all hearing, the whole family's hearing what's going on. And um, this individual spoke up and he said, look, do you really want this at your age? If you were in your 70s, I wouldn't question it. You should go to FINRA. You should seek retribution. You should, you know, you should view what you want to do. But is this really something you want to deal with now? My grandmother was 93 at that time. And I didn't say anything. I wrote it down, but I didn't need to write it down because I'll never forget it because it affected me on such a deep level as a human being and also as a, as a woman, because I don't know if this male individual would have said that necessarily to a 93 year old man, but because he's looking at this little older woman, he felt almost, I think, out of a need to protect her to say this, but it bothered me on such an instinctual level because I, I've said earlier, I, I'm, in many ways, I feel that the fight has prolonged her life. It's given her a common quest, uh, this idea of reclaiming her dignity and asserting her voice, which had been taken from her for so long, gave her new life. Um, and it, it's that quest to reclaim her dignity that's ultimately en enlivened her. I, I, she, she now, to me, is, is the grandma that I knew growing, growing up when I was a little girl. Um, more so than what I've seen the past few years, um, because she's like gotten this, she's always been sort of the spunky, fiery woman, and she lost that, and she's gotten it back, and, um, you know, she, she proved them all wrong. She insisted, she was resolute that she was going to do this, knowing full well that it would be difficult for her family, that she would be having to go on trial that I ultimately ended up having to testify her for her for over two days. My grandmother herself was cross-examined by my cousin's lawyer for over 11 hours on the stand over Zoom. It lasted over three days. So she was really put through fire for this, but ultimately she wanted it. And it, yes, she did end up victorious. She won, but I don't think it has anything to do with winning or losing. She fought and that's what made her feel good. And it's what's brought people to her. And she gets fan mail um, and she sometimes responds to them. She makes a phone call. Like there was a, a man in his nineties in California and she ended up speaking to him on the phone and there were like supposedly arranging to get together at some point. <laughs> and so, um, because, because, they were so sort of impressed and emboldened and empowered by hearing her story. And it has nothing to do with the numbers or the fact that she was victorious, but it was the fact that she chose to fight and fight even within her own family and say, right is right and wrong is wrong. And I'm not going to stand for it anymore.